Marte for this lightweight fight. Nate Diaz is 28. He is six years younger than Josh Thompson, two inches taller, and will have a five-inch reach advantage. Once again with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 19 wins, five losses, one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Josh the Punk Thompson. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record. 16 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mike Beltran. Mike Beltran, our referee for this lightweight battle. There is the lovely Brittany as we get set to get things started. Diaz and Thompson. And here we go. Already the taunting from Nate Diaz in the gray trunks of Southpaw. Black trunks for Josh Thompson, fighting in the UFC for the first time since 2004. Had a great trilogy of title fights in strike force with Gilbert Melendez, longtime training partner of Diaz. And Josh right away is opening up with a lot of leg kicks. Nate, much like his brother, has outstanding boxing skills and is a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah, he has a, a very boxing-centered attack. Will occasionally throw low kicks, but really prefers to use his hands and throws a very high volume of punches. Thompson going to a split decision with Gilbert Melendez in May of 2012 in the third fight between the two. Very razor-close split decision. Thompson said, you know what, maybe I should be here tonight fighting Henderson, but all I can do is take care of Diaz, then I will ask for my shot. Melendez and Henderson are main event tonight for the lightweight championship. And jo it's very interesting what Josh is doing. He's constantly switching from orthodox to southpaw, and when he goes southpaw, he's often throwing that left leg kick. And then he punched it. Wow. Crowd very animated, born and raised here in San Jose. Thompson, AKA, well done there. Wow. wow. He caught him with the foot there, but Nate just ate it like it was a pancake. It just keeps coming forward. Nate trying to find some angles. Well, it's very clear that Josh has a game plan for this fight, and he is sticking to it. And that game plan doesn't involve brawling with Nate Diaz. That game plan is obviously about moving and attacking the legs. Nate Diaz. And a head kick again. The second most post-fight bonuses in UFC history. Ten in all. Very few punches so far being thrown by Thompson. Everything is kicks. He's keeping his hands up. And making up for the fact that Nate has an advantage in his boxing distance and range with kicking. And again, four punches thrown so far, Joe, illustrating your point. Diaz pushing forward again. Now he wheels the kick. Nice knee. Clinched by Diaz. Let's see if he can bring, bring this to the ground. up against the fence momentarily right back with the pressure on Josh Thompson oh, over the top right hand by Thompson. Thompson caught him and 
Nate continues to move forward. Good combination by Josh. Good counters there. Yeah, you hear the corner of Thompson saying, use your speed, and you can see that Thompson feels he has that advantage in this fight. Constantly changing his stance and utilizing great movement. Final minute of the round. Oh, oh, big shot. That right hand counter. Good knee to the body by Thompson, and he takes him down. Crazy Bob Cook called for it, and Thompson with the takedown. And we have seen Nate Diaz's guard before. He has an excellent guard. Dangerous off of his back with submissions. Elbow. Thompson with the ground and pound. Yeah, and Cook's tough, too. Nate's and Nate's back to his feet. Final 10 seconds of the round. And a good one for the pump. What we saw in that first round, there's that head kick. And let's take another look at it here. And here's where he hurt his knee. Watch this. That wasn't, you know, that slap with the foot, that might not have been what did it. It could have been an accumulation of those shots, but make no mistake about it, his right knee is at the very least swollen, perhaps injured. Keep an eye on his movement. Came right out, though. Accidental strike. Take a look at it. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that one. Okay, they're back. Thompson circling as we've seen throughout this fight. He said he had a great camp and has added age and wisdom to his attack. The 12-year veteran who called tonight his toughest fight to date. The clinch. Take a look at this significant strikes landed. There's another one by Thompson. Diaz with the advantage early, though. One thing I'm, I'm really impressed with Diaz is how aggressive he's being and how active. Joe, as you mentioned, he is really sticking to his game plan. Well, Thompson certainly is. Nate's bloodied up. Might have been from an elbow in the clinch. Oh. Thompson with a shot. Diaz landed as well. And these are the kind of exchanges that Diaz wants. He yep. wants Josh to stay in front of him and try to trade. He wants to hit Josh and then make Josh want to get it back. Nate's busted up here, Mike. Yep. Nate takes Josh to the ground. Both men excellent grapplers. Oh, big shots by Nate. He's looking for a guillotine. Couldn't quite secure it. It's a great battle, Joe. Right when one man seems to start to take the advantage, the other man strikes violently. Nice push-off elbows by Thompson. These men actually met six years ago in a grappling super fight at the Gracie Open. Diaz won by advantage. Thompson's pace slowing a bit here at the midway point of the fight. to the right eye of Nathan Diaz. Josh has slowed his pace a bit, and he's also slowed his attack to the legs. 
And with the swelling on that front leg, it doesn't seem to have hampered the movement of Nate at this point. Canary attacks it again, but that one's checked. Again, with those elbows, yeah. those push-off elbows. And that's probably what's causing all that damage. Nice knee to the body. On the exit, a little right hand from Nathan. Looking for the trip. decision here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mike Beltran has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 44 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Josh the Pump. 